Okay, so just to keep you abreast of the latest injury updates as of day 7 evening. 37-year-old Aoyama had headed into this meet on an increasingly dodgy right knee. That knee then suffered ligament damage in the day 6 bout with Kodoshoho. He's out for the remainder this time and will fall to lower division 2 for March. He took Japanese citizenship nigh on two years ago, so he's long been thinking about what comes next. Hokuseho, who pulled out yesterday, has damaged his right meniscus and has scheduled an operation for February 5th. He will then require four weeks exclusively for physio, meaning he will not be able to train for March and thus will sit that out. His knee's been fragile for quite some time, said his coach Miyagino, and he aggravated it against Shonan Naomi on day 5. A March appearance is now impossible, he's aiming to return in May. Shonan Naomi gave Hokuseho his second extremely long bout in just 72 hours, so the giant will be getting much needed rest. And Spornichi newspaper says he'll return near the bottom of Division 2. Takayasu, who came back in yesterday, hurt his lower back in morning practice on the second day of this meet. As he'd beaten nearly everyone pre-tournament, his later setback is especially hard to stomach. The pain has not completely gone, but Yasu feels okay to fight with it, is what NHK have said. Horshoryu's right knee was tweaked pre-meet and stopped him from training as planned, its current unreliability was exposed against Gonoyama and Abi, but as long as it looks as though he'll reach 8 wins, he'll definitely be staying in. Takakesho, as I think you know, will not be coming back this time. The nerve root problems in his neck are nothing short of chronic now, but Sumo insiders believe he does not yet have elder stock and therefore can't retire right now. He will presumably limit his turning movements at his wedding party on February 18th. In Division 2, Tohakuryu sustained a finger to the eye in his bout with Chiyoshoma today. He told NHK post-match that he also felt dizzy. Mild concussion as well, perhaps. And Kotoeko, as you've likely seen, is unable to resist on the left knee he hurt in November. He's been urged to try and lock on early, then drive, and avoid any situation in which he must backpedal. Easier said than done, of course. One more win should guarantee salaried survival. He might well withdraw if he gets it. In Division 3, ex-salaried man Takakento has been out from day one. His Tokiwayama Stables X account has revealed he has undergone a knee operation and is now focused on physio sessions. Kento is working towards a March comeback at the age of 28. In Division 4, ex high school Yokozuna Hayate Fuji, once spoken of in the same breath as Hakuoho, has yet to recover from an injury sustained mid bout last July. We haven't actually seen him since then. He's one of five unsalaried Isegahama men to sit this tournament out, meaning the remaining lower rankers have an awful lot of serving to do and need some outside help. Six salaried men there now, including the Yokozuna, who needs at least six attendants. It's clear he too has trouble resisting forward drives, especially on his left leg, the next two days will be crucial as to whether he stays in or not. Finally in Division 6, Higo Hikari, who suffered that terrible bang to the back of the head on November Day 13, has been out every day thus far. I imagine he will not return for a one-off bout next week and will instead come back in March. I was told, even in late December, that, after a brief spell in hospital, Hikari was already back at the stable then, 
and looking forward to fighting again. His opponent on that fateful November day, Hanari Goma Stable's Wakaiki, was actually only contesting that one match to avoid dropping off the chart. We presume he'll do that again this time. He's still not fighting practice bouts, 